The first thing I want you to understand about trig is that it involves right triangles. We will not be studying, at least for a while, I don't know if we'll even get to any other type of triangle that isn't a right triangle. Right triangle means it has a right angle. Okay, so many of you probably know that symbol. You just put a little, that wasn't perfect, but you put a little right angle symbol there to, to, to mean that's a 90 degree angle. So the trig ratios apply to right triangles, which is why the name of this lesson is right triangle ratios. Any questions on that? So if it's 89 degrees or whatever, that's not a right triangle. Okay, and you don't have to write everything down. I think most people understand that a right triangle is a triangle that has a right angle, right? No pun intended, correct? Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I do want you to write this down because you will be hearing these terms a lot over the next several months. We only have two months of school left. Pretty crazy. Parts of a right triangle. You don't even know the physics kids are already Listen, guys, start by labeling the angle, okay? I'm going to talk about a, a, in a second how to read this angle. It's theta, okay? If you want to, you can write T-H-E-T-A. It's a Greek letter that we use to, um, instead of X, okay, it's still a variable, but it's a variable that represents an angle. So the first thing I want you to understand is if you draw a line from the angle, across from the angle to the opposite side you would call it opposite side. A lot of times you just write an O. Okay. That's the O in Sokotoa that you just mentioned. Next thing I want you to understand is the side well let's just go to hypotenuse. Whatever the side is that's opposite the right angle okay whatever that is is the hypotenuse. Okay. Weird name I think it's Latin Hypotenuse means the side opposite the right angle. Okay, the third side in relation to the angle is the side next to the angle that's not the hypotenuse, and that's called adjacent. The word adjacent means next to. So you got the opposite, the hypotenuse side, and the adjacent. And we typically use A, uh, sorry, O, H, and A, respectively. Again, you don't have to write everything down. This symbol right here is Greek. It means theta. It's a variable that represents an angle. Pretty much talked about all this stuff, so I'm not going to harp on it. But those are your three ways to label the sides of a right triangle. Depending on where the angle is, now notice if I move the angle up here, the opposite side now becomes this side. It's, re it's relative to where the angle is. The opposite side is not always in a, in a particular place. It depends on the angle. So in this case, this would be the opposite side. Hypotenuse would still be the angle opposite the right angle. Adjacent would be the other side next to the theta that's not the hypotenuse. So keep that in mind. Let's try to label the parts of this triangle. What would this side be? Opposite. Okay, that's correct. What would this side be? Correct. And this side would be? hypotenuse. 